Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode. Welcome to Weekly Angel Gardens. Another beautiful week as always. I know I say that every single flipping week but this week Okay, we're gonna be moving through three phases of the moon. The first one is going to be the last quarter of the moon where we're going to be breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love. So that's gonna be happening on Monday and Tuesday. Then from Wednesday to Friday, which is my favorite time, the balsamic moon. So this is the time where we reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. And this is the time that I take off social media. I disconnect. I'm going camping. I'm so excited. We just bought a new tent yesterday. We've got sleeping bags. We've got the stove all ready to go. Can't wait for that. Anyways, then on, what day is this? This is August the 11th for everyone, no matter where you are in the world, because we have a very, very important time. We're gonna be having a new moon, but this is gonna be a solar eclipse new moon in 18 degrees of Leo. So this is the time of the moon where we reset our intentions and feel the emotions associated with it. As you guys know from the last two months, I've done um, live q and no, live stream for Q&A tea time and a new moon intention setting. This is going to happen again. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it on Saturday, but I know that I'm going camping where there's no reception. So I'm gonna go camping Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Ah, four nights in the wilderness. I'm so excited. If you saw my meditation that I posted on Thursday, which was helping you to gain clarity and guidance, where I filmed it, is where I'm going, camping, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this is exciting. It's crazy because we're still in eclipse season, but we are go normally like with eclipses, there's like a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. This time we were having two solar eclipses and one lunar eclipse. So it's like, we've got a trio here, which is so exciting. Um, I don't know why this has happened, but I'm just going with it. I don't understand enough about astrology, so we'll just, We'll just do a reading and see what comes up. By the way, if you're new to the MK Love Fam and you enjoy finding out um, detailed clarity on, you know, what is going on, then hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell because if you guys didn't realize, last Monday, Weekly Angel Guidance was live 24 hours before it was actually scheduled. So for those beautiful souls that had the notifications turned on, you would have got that, um, that little message from YouTube to say, Mel's video is live. So that was a bit of a surprise. Anyways, um, I'm just really hyped up this morning. I was just singing um, uh, Natasha Bedingfield's Unwritten just before. It came up in, um, I follow Barbara Goldsmith. She's an astrologer. And I was just uh, listening to the astrology for the solar eclipse, new moon and Leo. And she also does astrology and she also channels um, the, the Palladians and in one of it, I don't, I think it was in the Palladians thing, something came up, it was a line of something and then instantly I thought of that song and I was like, oh, maybe that's what this week is all about. The rest is still unwritten. It's like, stop telling the same story that you've always said to yourself. This is a time for you to like literally carve out your own path. So I'm so excited to see what our beautiful angels have. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot that I'm gonna be using today. It's one of my faves. Well, it is my favorite because um, I've slowly started getting rid of my decks, the ones that didn't spark joy. And this is the only one that does. And being a minimalist, I if I use one, then why do I have extra? So I've now given away two of my decks to my MK Love fam. Um, one in the Netherlands and then the other one from Reunion Island, but now she's moving to France. So I've sent it to France. Like how exciting. Th these beautiful cards are going to our MK Love Fam around the world. Around the world, around the world. Uh, okay, let's just get on with it. So, just this is just a general reading if you're brand new to the channel. It's just a general reading, so just take from this reading what feels truly best for you. Some weeks this could be every single card, others it's like one, or sometimes you're like, what is she talking about? <laughs> I know, I used to think the same thing too, and I'm like, what? Oh, there's the first card. Ooh, the first card is the Queen of Cups. 
<laughs> I love this card. Um, Jen, if you're watching my channel right now, she's on Instagram at bitch in a hurry. <laughs> she told me, she's like, whenever she sees this card, she was the one who told me about this deck, by the way. Um, Jen, if you're watching, I love how you said that this card reminded you of like Beyonce. It's like, yeah. When I, when I saw this, the first word that I heard um, was Queen of the Night, which is the song from Whitney Houston. Um, Cause I'm the queen of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Da -da -da. That's such a friggin' hard song to sing. Don't make no difference if I'm wrong or right. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Queen of the Night is just all I heard. <laughs> That's all I heard from that one. What do you see when this card comes up? It's like freedom. It's like free on your own path to do what makes your heart feel amazing. Oh, do I even tell you what this week is? This is August the 6th to the 12th. Surprise! Um, so yeah, this is the first thing that came up and I'm just putting this under the breathing with Eve. It's like, yeah, you're the queen of the night. You are working your magic. By the way, interesting that this card came up because when I was actually editing last week's video and it came up, um, it came up, um, uh, what was the word? This is me from The Greatest Showman. And then when I was editing, it came up the chain of fills and it came up queen of the night, but I didn't put it in because I said lady of the night. But as soon as I picked up this card just then, I heard, cause I'm the queen of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Then it's like sass. It's like, you've got this sass about you. It's like, mm -mm, like, do you know how fabulous I am? Yes, I may have been in hiding for a long time, but it's like, I'm out. It's like, you're out of the closet. Like you're just, free um, I heard a song but then I couldn't catch it quick enough anyway so yeah because you're the queen of the night you're the queen of cups okay by the way let's just fast oh my god we're at seven minutes already ah! okay um, the cups represents emotion so it's like you are free free to feel these emotions. It's like you have done a lot of work to get to the Queen of Cups. The Queen is like nurturing, motherly, beautiful, supportive, super loyal. And it's like she has done so much work to become this Queen of the Night. Um, it's just a bloody good card, like honestly. So this is, so the Breathing With Ease is just Monday and Tuesday. So this kind of follows on with last week's reading. Well, then the second card that definitely wanted to come up, which is the card that totally came up when I was shuffling, is the Page of Pentacles. How exciting is that? Oh my God, Pe Pentacles represents abundance in whatever shape or form that works truly best for you. Ah, okay. The look on her face is very much like in shock. If anything, but she's got like um, a ball of light in her hand as to represent it, like she's got the whole world in her hand. She's got the whole world, but she's like sitting on her mound of like, there's a massive big pentacle in it. She's not, a, she's not like having like a dance party, but I feel like she's more like solemn and very reflective and going like, I did it. Maybe she's in the in the stage of being in shock, but I just feel like she knew that she was going to get it. She's got the wisdom of the owl next to her. Um, is she sitting on a dragon? Oh my God, she's sitting on a dragon. Um, how do I show you? There's the head there and then I can't do it back to the front. Oh, and then the tail ends up over there. So the whole body is here. It's like she's sitting on the dragon. It's like maybe the dragon is like, but she's like to be able to sit on top of, how weird is that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> and then I got this mad tree. Look where my finger is here. Look at the face on the tree. The tree is like, oh, it's like, um, but then it's attached to the owl. And the owl's like, hoot, hoot, like super, 
I don't know, what does this card mean? How does that fit with the Queen of Night? This is totally the contrast. Maybe this is more the reflecting stage of the moon. I don't feel like this fits in with the, maybe it's the breathing with ease because she's, I don't know, I didn't even set my intentions with these cards just yet. I just kind of press record and I'm like, here I am, baby. I just feel she's very, um, she's very at peace and like she's worked hard to get to where she is. But she knows she hasn't reached her destination yet. Maybe that's why she's not like, oh, look crazy. But she's very much like, I've done this work. This is what I've gathered. There is more to come. There is always more to come. All right. What do we need to know for the balsamic moon angels, please? Just one card for the balsamic moon. Well, can you see that? Yep. There it is. <laughs> Ready for this. I'm not going to say anything. What comes up when you see this? The king of pentacles. <laughs> That's the highest you can get. That's the highest form of abundance. You guys, what the hell? What have you been doing? Because you have been putting in the work. The king of pentacles is strong stability, long-term success. You have been like, I, I see like spinning like yarn together, like creating something and you've I just feel like you've been sitting down at the machine. How random is this? I see you like sitting down at the machine and you've been working hard and it's like you've just made this. I saw a rug. I don't know why I see a rug. Maybe that's just the metaphor that we're going for today. But it's like there are acorns all around. It's like you have a dragon protecting you down below and it's like... I swear we've had the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in so many readings. It wasn't last week. Well, we had the Queen of Cups last week, did we? Yeah, I think we did. This is so interesting. So it's like all the work that you have been doing is literally here. It's literally here. This could be the beginning stages of you seeing this success. I don't feel like it's the beginning stages. It's the king. You've gone through. You've done all of the work. So it's like you're celebrating what you have achieved. He's just so strong and present and there is abundance everywhere. Everywhere you turn on, on the branches, there is abundance. And I feel like this is part of the, the balsamic moon. This is the reflecting stage. It's like the abundance could, maybe you didn't see the abundance because you were so focused on like the daily grind, trying to do whatever you need to do to get by. But like when you stop and reflect in the balsamic moon and you literally take yourself off social media and you just breathe and you just, I feel like some of you like look back like five years where, who were you back then to who you are now? Because the contrast is incredible. And I really want you to be so proud about how far you have come because this is a mass massive accomplishment. Like not, you don't just get the King of Pentacles for doing like some work. Like I feel like you guys as a collective are doing incredible work. Well, I know that you are because in our one-on-one -on -one, um, online sessions, the the T for two 20 minute sessions where I asked you to book in, which if you haven't yet booked in, please do because I'm going to be um, chatting to 50 to 100 of you and I'm probably about a third of the way through. So please click the link in the description, book a session with me. It's free. I just want to hear about your story. It's helping me work out what I need to create for the one-on-one -on -one online coaching program to help you better along your self-love makeover. And to hear your stories about where you guys are at makes me so flipping proud. And to like hear it out of your mouth and see your face and your beautiful expressions, it's just incredible to hear it firsthand instead of just in the comments. So I'm very proud of you guys. Like, yes, like massive accomplishment. You should be so proud. So where are you at on your journey? Like, what have you overcome? Because it's incredible. Wow. Okay. Further clarity on King of Pentacles for the Balsamic Moon. Wow. That was very prominent. The Page of Cups. Wow. 
This is just, oh, I'm gonna try not to interject. What do you see when this card comes up? For me, this is like, <laughs> this is just like taking it all in, breathing it all in. It's like you have worked hard and you're now enjoying your success. This is emotions too. So this is like, we've had two pages, the page of pentacles and now the page of cups. I just feel like this is just taking it all in, taking in everything you have done because you, like your emotions have, have been very up and down recently, especially with the Mars retrograde, which rules like anger um, and frustrations. And you probably would have noticed that a lot of crazy shit going on with your family or your friends or your loved ones and it's like what is happening right now like why are you going crazy or why am I going crazy and now it's like you're reflecting and you're like this had to happen for a reason I need to I need needed to have experienced this bullshit and for someone to be horrible to me for me to be like oh you've triggered some unhealed wounds I have worked through them I am mastering my emotions and every single day I'm doing whatever I can to put myself on the path of least resistance, which helps me to vibrate on the frequency of love and leads me to my highest good. Like this is, this is incredible that you guys are even at this stage. Like this is not just a card reading for people who just sit there and watch the world go by. It's like you are literally in each phase of the moon, taking on the advice of what's coming up in the cards. And the ones of you that are totally doing that are gonna, all of these cards are gonna resonate for you. And if they're not, then there's extra work that needs to happen. Or maybe you just need to book a private reading, one of the two. But for most of you, because the ones that interact with me in the comments and not my silent viewers, I can see the progression from what you were writing. Like Rebecca, she used to be, um, Beck, you used to be run on, running on spoons. Like you told me each step of your journey as you were manifesting your partner. Now you've been together like a year or over a year now. And I just feel like you've come a long way. Like Justin, you've come a long way as well. Like your self-talk is incredible. Um, Katie, you went on a date after seven years of not dating anyone and releasing your ex and all the shit that you've had to go through with your house and your mom. And there's just so many of you. It's like, you need to be so proud of where you are. I have, my whole body is full of goosebumps because this card represents the emotional growth. You being able to say, I am where I am and it's okay. Like that speaks volumes like I cannot express how proud I am of you guys dude yes all right let's get one more card oh we've had a lot flip over let's get one more for the balsamic moon well there it is Ooh, we had this card last week the two of swords the two of swords it's like okay there can be times where you're easily triggered. I feel like this is in the past though. I feel like this is like, darling, just look up, see love. Love heals all blockages. It's like, it's like, stop. It, I just, um, how do I explain this? Let me just channel this card. I just feel like you, you don't need to allow the darkness to to rule you anymore because I feel like huh, I'm not a stranger to the dark fire away. Well, that was a bit higher. That's this is me again. Maybe this is because this was in last week's too. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. I'm not a stranger to the dark. Yeah, you, yeah, it's like you're not a stranger to the dark because yeah, darkness makes you who you are because you have learned to heal. You've learned to work with the darkness. Darkness is good. Feel the pain, cry it all out. I know a lot of you have gone through breakups recently because my DMs on Instagram have been a little crazy and I'm like, oh darling, no. But I'm like, yes, this is good. Yes, you have identified that this is a blockage that isn't serving your highest good and it's like, 
this, I feel like this is other people though, but for some of you, this could be you depending on where you're at. But for the majority of you, I feel like this is you not allowing to be, not allowing yourself to be ruled by the darkness. This could be fear. This could be somebody else. I feel like this is other people though, but then I feel like those other people trigger you, know how to hit that heart chakra really bad and pierce it. Yeah. Oh, well, let them bring me down to dust. Warrior Club Rapper. That's such a hard song. When the dark thoughts will come me down. <laughs> yeah, this is me. It's like, this is who you, yeah. I am brave. I am bruised. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Yeah, you've been through hell, but it's fine. It, you know, you know what's really beautiful? It's like in those moments where I was in a, in my toxic state, in the emotionally abusive relationship, like literally banging my head on the back of the door, don't, not knowing how to regulate my emotions when I was in that toxic relationship. We have the phone ringing. <laughs> Why do people still have a home phone? Um, yeah. What was I going to say? It's like when you're in that darkness, you don't realize that what is happening to you is such a blessing in disguise. But it's in hindsight when you take yourself out and you're like, thank you, thank you, thank you, universe, for allowing this to happen so I can flex my self-love muscles and learn and grow and become this big, flippin', beautiful butterfly and just know that everything is possible. Like wherever you're at, you're exactly where you need to be, you, you know? If you're sad, cry. If you need help, you need to seek people out. If you need guidance and clarity, book a reading. See somebody in your local community. Join a meetup group. Meditate. You need to take charge. You can't just continue this pattern to cycle through because if you're going to continue that cycle, then you're going to raise kids and they're going to end up like that and their kids are going to end up like that. This is why I broke the cycle. I didn't want to be like my family. I didn't want to live the life that they were brought up to live. I'm like, no, I'm destined for greatness. And I know that I am incredible. And I know that the life that I used to settle for wasn't in alignment with my highest good. And when I broke three, free, free and started healing those blockages, I became unstoppable. Yeah, it took time. Yeah, I had to learn a lot. And that's why I'm so excited to launch my coaching program soon so I can literally teach you everything that I have learned in the past seven years and be like, okay, if you want to accelerate your healing, you know, and you want to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, then that's when I want to help you. That's the people that I want to work with. I don't want to work with those people that are like, you know, I think I want it, but I can't make a decision. Well, then you're on a different path. I want people that are committed and are ready to make peace with this darkness because this darkness is good. This darkness is like, it makes you unstoppable because when you get on the other side of that, ha, oh, you're a force to be reckoned with. All right, moving right along. That got a bit deep just then. Let's go into Saturday and Sunday. This is the new moon solar eclipse in 18 degrees of Leo. So, well, that card literally just fell out. We got the Four of Pentacles. So this card is interesting because I see him kind of as like a hoarder and he's kind of like, I don't want to let it go. And then I heard, don't stop me now because I'm having a good time. Um, this card, it's like but four represents stability. It's like, I feel like you've gotten a taste of it, but then you're kind of like, I can't lose any of the pieces. Oh my God, if I lose something, I'm never gonna it back. It's like, yeah, just breathe with ease. Surrender to the process. If something has to give, something has to give. But you know what? What is coming to you, it's what's gonna like literally like rip your socks off. Rip your socks off? What's the expression? I totally messed that up. Rock your socks. <laughs> I don't even have socks on, but anyway, um, yeah, I see a lot of chameleons around, but they have wings or maybe these are, oh, these are baby, these are baby dragons. I've never seen that before. So this is like kind of holding, I would say this is kind of like holding too tightly to what you have. It's like, dude, 
Just let it be. What is meant to be will stay. You won't even have to fight for it. Let it be, oh let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Mama, Mother Mary. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, let's get clarity on the Four of Pentacles. That was an interesting start. What do my MK Love Fam need to know? For the solar eclipse, new moon. First card I saw was Six of Pentacles. Okay, we've had this one, I think like last month. So this is like the dude is like just in his own land, but oblivious to like what's going on below him. So maybe he's oblivious to it because he's too fixated on, he's like, I've got these four pentacles at home and nobody is going to touch them. But it's like, dude, if you want more, you have to release them because what is meant to be yours will rightfully stay. Yeah, I didn't really have anything to add on that one. There's a lot of pentacles. Page of pentacles, king of pentacles, four of pentacles, and six. It's like you're going backwards a little bit at the start because maybe not backwards, maybe these are new pentacles that you're creating. Because like in the balsamic moon, we had the king of pentacles, but then in the new moon, we've got the four and the six of pentacles. So maybe it's like you're earning new gold, new abundance is coming in and you're just starting from the start. And like when things first happen, you're like, I gotta hold everything. Like just, just allow it to come in and come out. It's like, I am open and respected, uh, respected. I am open and receptive to avalanches of abundance, infiltrating my bank account, my relationships, my career. What is meant to be will stay. Okay, so just don't hold it too tightly because that's when there's resistance in your vibration and when there's resistance, you focus on what you don't want and that's when you get more. You know what I'm talking about. Whoa, okay, thank you. What? We got the death card with a flipping phoenix, yo. Okay, this is exciting. This is like you are becoming this new person. It's like you've, you're learning as you progress through. The phoenix is like, this is a massive rebirth. It's like, yes. This is, I've been saying for like three months, we're on massive change, massive change. Well, this solidifies this massive change. Like, honestly, this is like, I feel like for some of you, this is like an ego death. For some of you, this is like a death of like who you used to be. Not, not like in like, I don't mean like a physical death. I mean like um, just, releasing what isn't rightfully yours in this new path, in this new journey, in this new fabulous person, new businesswoman, businessman, um, husband, wife, girlfriend, fiance, whatever stage you're at, you're at a new stage and it's like, this is a celebration. This is a very exciting time, like a very exciting time. So how do you feel with that card? I think I'm gonna leave it on that. I think that's a pretty good card to, to finish on. And considering that is a major arcana, that means that when we move into the solar eclipse new moon in 18 degrees of Leo, this is uh, this new chapter and what you are creating and what you're starting in this time is gonna be here to stay for the next six months. You're cultivating long-term success. This is very exciting. Wow, how do you guys feel? Like, honestly, how do you feel right now? Do you feel excited? Do you be like, oh my God, Mel? I just feel like the energies are like um, queen of the night for the breathing face. So let me just show you these two cards. These two cards are for the last quarter, breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love. You know, you're the queen of the night and you're just like on the top and you're kind of like shocked, like I really did it, like I did it. I don't feel like the emotion has like settled in just yet. Then when we move on to the balsamic moon, remember this is the time where we disconnect from social media, take your shoes off, go for a walk, do whatever makes you feel amazing. This is a time where you great, regain clarity and you're not like, I gotta do this, 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 and this. Leave everything, leave it. From Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I know a lot of you work during the week, so 
maybe take Friday off and use Saturday and Sunday to also give you that time to just be, go out in nature, go for a hike, you know, go to bed early. This is the time where we just like, we chill and don't feel bad for just chilling because this is the phase of the moon because we're preparing ourselves for the solar eclipse. And you know, when we get into this eclipse energy again, as we cycle through it for the second time, we have a lot of work to do and we've done a lot for this month. So we're reflecting to say, yes, we are fabulous. We've done so much and holy flip, look how far we've come. And we're just like, you know, just sipping on this beautiful cup of tea and just taking it all in, soaking it all in. And we're like, yeah, this is what's happened. This is the contrast that came up this month. Holy flipping shit, did this tell me a lot? Yeah, this could be fear. Yeah, this could be someone else. But you know what? I am amazing and I'm gonna use this pain and I'm gonna turn it into greatness. Oh, that was beautiful, Mel. <laughs> then the solar eclipse, new moon. Da, 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 da. Then what's happening in this time? How do I move, hold all of these? This is when you're like holding your new abundance gripped too tightly. And sometimes when you do that, that's when there's resistance. And that's when you start to miss what's going down below. But when you realize that and you just look down and you just see, oh my gosh, do you see all of that abundance? And this is when we're going to transform and we're going to become the person that we know that we are destined to be because you are amazing, you are incredible, you are unstoppable. And this eclipse season is literally giving you this little astrological boost in the right direction. And if you've been struggling, like I know a lot of you've been struggling, especially with work, um, and you've been struggling to find the right job or to associate with the right people because you're finding everyone around you, like as you've gone through your spiritual awakening, people around you are very low vibrational and you're struggling with the conversations, then this is the time where the universe can take you off one track and put you on. If you've been struggling heaps and heaps and you're not getting where you're meant to be and you, and you know that you've been putting in the work but you're not seeing the results, Maybe this is when the universe is like, okay, Dylan, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna, you know, remember last week we had the tower card, it was like burning down um, the foundations of, you know, what isn't serving us. Anyway, I'm just excited. I don't know what I'm gonna call this reading. I feel like it's like Queen of the Night, but then Queen of the Night was at the start. Is it an ego death? I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to see what it is when I go to edit it, but I'm so excited for you guys. I'm like beyond excited. Please comment down below and let me know what came up for you during this week. And was there any card in particular that like really just like grabbed you? Some could make you emotional. I feel like this card would trigger a lot of you, but then at the same time, I feel like you guys would be like super proud of like lots of other cards as well. I just wanted to say, Thank you so much for watching today's reading. I appreciate you so much, like honestly, so much. And if you are new to the MK Love Fam, please subscribe and join our fam. We're almost at 20K, 20,000 high vibrational souls around the world. Like that's exciting. And I know you guys are more than just a number and I feel that connection so much more deeply with you now that I have been doing those free 20 minute one-on-one -on -one sesh to find out where are you on your self-love makeover and where do you want to be? Like, why haven't I done that before? I don't know, probably fear, probably fear. Yeah, it was fear. I had to get out of my own way and I'm so glad I did because what was on the other side of that fear was just pure delicious goodness. And I just am so grateful for every single one of you that literally have joined me on the calls. Like honestly, some of you have jumped on a call at 3 a.m. your time. There is two of you, one in Sweden and one in Dubai. You both jumped on a 3 a.m. call. I was like, dude, how are you awake? Like that just was like, I thought that was just so precious that you, wanted to speak to me so much that you wanted to jump on a call at 3 a.m. Like, what the heck? That, that just blows my mind. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, if you want to book, um, it's just, yeah, melaniekatelove.com forward slash T for two, one. And yeah, you can go and check out all the goodness and I'll be responding you, to you for the next hour. There'll be no video on Thursday because it's in the balsamic moon, but I'll be coming to you probably on Saturday for live Q and A tea time. But yeah, to keep all up to date, make sure you're on my mailing list. The way to get on my mailing list, just click the link in the description. It'll link you to my self love starter kit and then I'll email you. Um, yeah, because that's where I kind of give you 
all the like exclusive updates. So yeah, I think that's about it. Yay! Exciting week. Anyways, my love, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will see you on Saturday. Possibly, I haven't really confirmed it just yet. Depend I gotta find reception this weekend and hopefully, because I'm going camping this weekend to test it out before I go back. Because I'm going by myself next week because Peter's at work. All by myself. I actually love being by myself. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, ah, I'm buzzing. This was a bloody good week. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.